Messiah, Majesty, Messiah, Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me for your faithfulness to us. May Zion Majesty. Every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me. Our Savior. Your praise will come from me For your faithfulness to us me May Zion majesty Every day Your praise will surely be A scene of joy for me May Zion majesty yeah. For your gifting For your gifting I will praise you And the seas and everything that in them is Lord unto you, we God, reveal secrets to us. May our hearts induct a good matter. Whatever body in your children came with me, they never go home with it. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. I like that. Champion, shout fire! Shout Ruru! Shout Muzozo! Shout Mafura! Shout Onsio! Amen and amen! We want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit! And also want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Gila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa! All right, let's stand to our feet. Let's walk up to eight persons. And say to the person, it's so very nice to see you. Hey. Tell the person, I love you. It's yes. so very nice to see you. I walk by faith and not by sight. No, 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 no. It's not by power nor by mind. Amen. 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 Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Amen. Amen. Say I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. We want to talk to you on how to receive. How to receive? How do I receive 
from God what I want him to give me. Wow. You know, it is one thing to ask God for something. It's, it's another thing to know how to receive what you ask of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, you see, until you know how to receive, mm -hmm. your miracles or your desires may just be hanging. And it can be there for years till someone who knows how to receive receives it. Mm. Uh, like me, honestly. One time, some years back, I did preach a lesson that God doesn't give anything new. Mm. And they didn't even... Because some people were upset and left the church when I taught them. That was about nine years ago. God doesn't give anything new. Why? Because... Whatever he's going to give you was something he already had for someone mm. who made poor choices mm. or doubted mm. and didn't even know how to receive. And then the one who knew how to receive collected it. Mm. Because there's so much from God for everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there's so much that is yet unclaimed. Mm. So much God has pushed out, released. But many have not claimed it. Wow. Uh, I was able to go and do my master's mm. in the UK because my biological father had unclaimed dividends from yes, Guinness. Yes, he, sir, yes, sir. he used to be a staff of Guinness yes, sir. in the 70s. And so they were made to buy Guinness shares. He didn't want to buy it, but his friend made him buy it. Because his friend, I later met him some years later, um, his friend was his manager and had, I had just been born then I was less than a year old um, and so my biological father resigned and followed my mother to the north northern part of Nigeria because her family was there and so um, eight years later or seven years later my mother died my biological father went to prison i've told you the story many yes, times yes sir. yes sir and things went bad yes sir and so from eight years old i was a house help living with people and all that i was able to go to the university as at the time i went to the university then in nigeria it was the most expensive at the time yes sir and so now through the church i was part of because i did not graduate with a good grade mm. Uh, because I used to be in the fraternity and the college did not like people in fraternity and I was too distracted with the fraternity activities yes, and like I said I was very very vicious and notorious so they knew my name and so the school kept me back from kept me back a year from graduating so I graduated the next year my mates had already graduated so the following year six of us were allowed to go to graduate. So I went for my NYSC. But I was part of the ministry. As at the time, I had already given my life to Christ. And so I was part of the ministry, and it was through that ministry I got a job in the bank. So naturally, I wouldn't have even gotten a job at all, not even in a bank, because my grades were very bad. I had a D graduating. So. But I'm an A in life today. Yes, sir! Yes. But here's the point. While I was working in the bank, I recall my fellowship leader called me and said, Lucy, you are privileged to have a job in the bank wow. uh, because of the ministry you are part of. I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So he said, why don't you, and you did, I read English language in my first degree. Yes, sir. Maybe that's why I speak English. But he said, nah, <laughs> you can't really, no one truly really succeeds just reading English with an English degree. I said, it's true. He said, now you're in the bank. Why don't you professionalize? Find something you can do. That's how I went into corporate finance and business strategy because that was what I was already doing. And so I was able to do my master's in the United Kingdom. But while I was in the bank, I was in an aspect of the bank called investment banking where we deal with stocks, unclaimed dividends. So for some reason, I knew my biological father had already worked in Guinness. So I just decided to go through the unclaimed dividends. I went to the letter U, 
his last name. So I checked it. And I saw his name, unclaimed dividend. And I was the one doing the clearing for people. So I went to my boss. I said, this is my biological father's name. He said, Pastor, I trust you. Whatever you want to do, do. So I went to see my biological father. I said, this is your unclaimed dividend. He said, well, I'm not interested in it and all that. Thousands of unclaimed dividends. So I said, can I take it? He said, yeah, you can take it. I said, I want to use it to pay for my master's in the UK. He said, yeah, you can take it. So I said, okay, sign. I brought a mandate, sign. He said, I can't remember my signature. I said, just do anything. <laughs> he said, you handle it. I'm not interested. So I went to my boss. I said, he said he cannot remember his signature. So he said, Pastor, I trust you. Go ahead. And I thank God for the mercy of God. So I signed on his behalf. I think he did uh, Tom this thing. So I signed it. Yeah, so that's how I was able to sell the stocks to pay for my master's. Now, the reason why I told you that story was because he had unclean dividends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What thousands of naira. Wow. Hundreds of thousands of naira. But he did not claim it. Wow. That's how people are with God. Wow. They have a lot of unclaimed miracles. Wow. Something they prayed for when they were 13. Now they are 68, yet to collect Jeez. it. Wow. That's why you find some people, their miracles come late. That's why we said it is very, very important to know how to receive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's yes, sir. the point praying and asking God to give you something you don't know how to receive? See? If you're ever going to ask God for anything, wait, before you ask, do you know how to receive it? Mm, that's true, sir. So say, that's I, true. And let it confess. No, there is no doubt it will come. If you believe it will come, it will come. But it, it is one thing for the miracle to come. It's another thing for you to receive it. <laughs> you see, like that of my dad, it came in the report every year on claim dividends. These are the names of the people where we have money for. That's what it means. Come and take. Come and cash your check. I receive. Yes, and I my receive. father I will I not go. Yes, That's how God does it. Mm. Unclean dividend. The work mm. that I'm doing now in the ministry, I was not God's number one choice. Yes, sir. Yes, I was God's third choice. Wow. Yes, sir. There were two others before me. Wow. They used to preach on campus. We all went to the same college. They even told me that, ah, this was what God showed them. And also God gave it to you. Because they didn't want it. They, I want it. They, I want it. I want it. Unclaimed dividends. Unclaimed dividends. With God. Yes, sir. See? So, how do you receive? Yes, sir. Go to... Let's look at Acts, the book of Acts. Acts chapter, Acts chapter 3. Let's read from verses 1 to 4. Yes, sir. How can you not know how to receive? Mm. Why would you ask God for something you know you don't know how to receive? L look at, look at, look at verses 1. Yes, he said, now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And he's setting, this was around 3 p.m. When he yes. says ninth hour, I mean 3 p.m. Yes, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate 
of the temple which is called beautiful to ask arms of them that entered into the temple who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an arm and Peter fasting his eyes upon him with John said look on us and then he gave heed to them expecting to receive of them now look at that verse 4 again verse 4 again Apostle Peter gave him an instruction look on us yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then verses 5 said, he gave heed. Yes, sir. So, until Apostle Peter told him to look, he was not expecting anything. Yes, sir. 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 Why was he like that? You are the one asking for something. The thing now has come. Someone is ready to give you something. And you are not looking. Wow. So I see. See? You are not looking. You came to a prophet. The prophet said, uh, uh, how was the interview? He said the interview was fine. They told me they would get back to me. Oh, the prophet said the job is yours. Mm, Don't worry. They will get back to you. They will call you. And then you just sat down. And you are waiting for them to call you. Oh. Mm. Did it even cross your mind to call the company yes. back? Mm. To show them how much you want the job? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did they, they were expecting your call? Yes. You asked and did not look. Oh. You didn't even call the company back. But you asked. Now you are thinking the prophet's prophecy is false. Oh. But you wanted the job, not the prophet. Yes, sir. Why should the prophet be looking into your job to see whether they will give you the job when you who want the job is not looking, but you were supposed to be looking? Wow. Did you call the company back? Mm. Did you take that initiative? Wow. You wonder, I've been waiting, they have not called me yet. Oh. Did you call them? Mm. It's there in the Bible. He asked, not expected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then how can he receive? How can you receive? I, I want a partner. I want a relationship. I called. I, I went out on a date with this person. She said she would get back to me. So did you call her back? You didn't. But she said she would get back to me. Did you call her back? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. 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 Many are like that. They don't know how to receive. Meanwhile, what they want is before them. They don't know how to receive it. And then the job was given to someone who was, who was respectfully aggressive, politely aggressive. Ask those who are married today. They never wanted to marry the people who they wanted to marry. But the people they married were more aggressive towards them. Say, I will know it is you. They are the and the person kept saying, you are disturbing me, man. Oh. Yeah, so. so. But let's show you where his problem began. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you like to know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And maybe that is where your problem might be. Mm. Go to... Go to verses 2. Yeah. And a certain man from his mother's womb was carried. See that? He was carried. What that means is that he was always dependent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was never independent. He was 40 years old. Always dependent. 
If you are someone that people always carry all the time, people always come to your aid financially, people always carry you, people always support you, that's what we mean. People are always trying to see how they can help you from time to time. If you are that kind of person, you will never, never know how to receive from God. Because you will always be relying on people. You see why? You will never have to look for how to receive independently of your own. But you did the asking. The Bible says he asked of arms. The apostles even told him, what you're asking us for, we don't have, but we even have something better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yes, can sir. change your state. Yes, sir. 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 If you change your state, yes, sir. then you can own an estate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God wants to change your state. Yes, sir. Then you can own an estate. Yes, sir. Until your state changes, you can never own an estate. What do you mean? Look at you. God promised that I will own mega mansions. Look at where you are right now. Have you changed your state right now? How can God give you a mega mansion? I'm changing my state. Huh? I'm changing my state, sir. I'm changing my state. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes it can begin with how you present yourself. Yes, sir. Can begin. Yes, sir. He said, he asked arms of the people. Yes, sir. Without even expecting to receive. Mm. Why? He was so used to it. Yes, sir. He was so used to being ignored. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. The Bible said daily, no, daily men carried him. Daily he was a beggar. Daily, daily, daily mm. for years. So how would he know? Who is asking arms for? Even when he met these men of God, he didn't even recognize them. Jesus went into that very same temple. He did not recognize Jesus. Jesus used to come to this same temple. It was a temple in Jerusalem. Jesus came there. They brought him to this temple to even judge him. The man was always there. Jesus hid people even by the temple. The man was always there. Not expecting. And Apostle Peter was grieved with it. Ah, ah. Even our boss came here. You ah. never expected to receive. Now you are even trying to do the same thing with us. This was a man whose shadow was driving away demons. He's telling the guy, you don't know who you are talking to. He said, look at me. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, recognize yes, who your helper yes, is. Yes, sir. That's the thing. Yes, sir. That's yes, the sir. problem. Yes, sir. Many, that's why you can be very ungrateful when you cannot recognize who your helper had been. That's why you can be foolish to say, anybody can help me. God can use anybody to help me. Did he? Hey, no, sir. Did he? No, sir. Did he? This person just helped you. Hey, he said, why is he talking? He said, because he helped me. You know, somebody once said to me, but I helped you. One I said, I'm grateful. And I'll always be grateful you helped me. You think I'll be ashamed? Ah, this one helped me a lot. If I say, you are crazy. That's why I even help you more. Take it again. <laughs> you see? But here's the point. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah. Apostle Peter said, look at us for the first time. Look at the faces of people who give you something. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, why are you like that? Mm. I don't like to look at people's eyes. I don't like, we're not saying look at people's eyes. He <laughs> says, look at the one helping you. Yes, Someone sir. is helping you. The yes. person to help you has to look at you. Yes, sir. And you, you are ignoring the person. Yes. And yet you want help from the person. Uh, I'm See why your problem is? See, my biological father was not looking at the, divid the unclaimed dividend report. Mm. The unclaimed dividend report is saying, look here. I decided to look and found his name. Oh. That's how I was able to pay for my master's not owing. Mm. I converted the naira into pounds and I yes. paid. Wow. And I had the best result from that business school. We were 40 from Africa, from different countries, and I had the best result. But it came through an unclaimed blessing. My father bought the shares, I think about four months after I was born. Four months. 
and it paid for my master's years wow. later. Wow. You know? eh? Why are you like this? Because people carry you. People carry you. One of the ways to know that you are a very, very dependent person mm. and you will be a miscarriage if you continue that way in your life is when you can't really recognize people who, re who, who really help you. Mm. Why can't you mark the faces of people who really helped you? It's true, sir. That's, you it's very true. That's why you can't disrespect them. Mm. That's why it's easy for you to disrespect them. Even if they say something nasty to you, you want to, you want to, you, you think you have dignity. L let me even ask you, what, what dignity do you think you have when people are always the one helping you? Oh. you? Do you understand? Even if the person helping you wants to talk to you and you are trying to explain, let's say you were even accused wrongly, you are not trying to explain. Eh, eh, no, sir, that's not what they have. Let me explain. Let me explain. Shut up. What do you want to explain? Who see who is talking? What do you have? The one who helps you is the one talking. And you want to explain. You tell me to just say, I'm just, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. And then wait for the person to cool down. Then you can later say, sir, honestly, this is actually how it happened. Because the truth will still come out. And then he will be the one even apologize. I'm so sorry I reacted. You were not the one. But now, you want to, no, sir. No, but, but I think, I think, you think you have dignity. You think you have dignity? When the one you are challenging is the one carrying you. It means you have not looked at his face. You've not looked at her face. You want to challenge people who help you. How can you receive from God? If you can even do that to the humans you see around you. God that you don't see. And you don't know that God saw what you did. Because you think you have arrived. Apostle Peter said, look at us, Mr. Man. That was his problem. No wonder people carried him daily. No wonder he was lame in life. There are some people like that, they are financially lame. Financially lame. Some are maritally lame. They always have marital problems when somebody comes to intercede. They, always, they are just lame like that. Some people, they are, they are maritally lame. They are just there. Even in their jobs, they are always having problems at work. They never do anything excellently. So lame. How long will people keep carrying you? How long? It's there in the Bible. It's there. Look at it again. Go back to that verse too. The Bible says, Two. And a certain man, he is now a man, yes, but he was lame from his mother's womb. In his limbless, from a chi from childhood, he became a man lame. That's it. There are some grown women still lame. That's why they want to date someone who will help them pay bills. Support them with bills. Mm. How many ladies are really independent? I mean, you own your own house. You think a man will come and rubbish you? <laughs> you own your own place, paying your own bills. The guy says he owns his own place. Yes, yeah, you do. You own your own place too. I respect that. You must respect me too. I own my own place. Even when both of them finally marry, the man will never disrespect such a woman. The woman has been handling bills before, before you. So even if the man walks away, the woman will still be standing. There are some ladies today they can't stand. Oh my God, what will I do without Johnny? I will die. Are you that lame? Are you that lame? Yeah. That's why in this church we don't raise weak women. I don't. I don't really admire a weak woman. 
And I say that respectfully. Yeah. If you were weak when you came, and if you listen to us for a while, your mindset will change. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, have yeah, to yeah, be yeah, strong. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Your car parked on the way. You call the mechanic. <laughs> You call Johnny. My car just passed. Oh. What do I do? You don't know what to do. What if Johnny is dead? What would you do? Oh. What if your husband is dead? What would you do? Oh. Why must people carry you like that? Into manhood or womanhood. Oh, no. This guy was born lean, grew up to be a man lean. Oh. And he had only one problem. He didn't look at those who were helping him. Or those who could help him. Apostle Peter said, Look at us, idiot, for the first time. Oh. Fool. Mm. Look at us. You want to receive, you ask God for something. Yet, mm -hmm. after praying, you refuse to look at the area where you know that thing you ask God for is in. You ask God to give you admission to a particular college. That college, you did not visit it. You never went to ever visit the college to see how the campus looked like. You have never gone there. And you expect to get there. God never see you pay your money to travel to the college to go and see how it looks. And you expect, I'm waiting for the admission letter. A college, you don't know how it looks. They even invited you, come and see how we look. You refuse to go. It, it's, listen, God is not the heir, as you think. God is a person with a mind. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. yes sir. The Bible yes, sir. talks about the mind of God. Yes, God yes, has sir. a mind. Yes, God is a person. He reasons. Yes, he is seeing what you are doing. Yes, sir. I mean, you applied for a job. You have never gone to see the building. Oh. You have never gone to see... Okay, you applied to, let's say, a medical facility. Yes, sir. You have never gone there to drive around it. Maybe your cousin was sick in one hospital once and you went to visit your cousin. Did you take time to look around? Okay, I'm even a medical student. Mm. When I graduate, I like to work in a place like this. Oh. Why do you think God brought you there? Maybe God was showing you this is a good place you can work in. You've yes, never sir. been to a place where you're expecting them to call you. Mm. Why are you like that? Hi. And then tomorrow you say God gave you something. God gave you something you never looked at. Mm. Notice, before the guy received, he had to look first for the first time in 40 years. That long. 40 years. <laughs> That's why Jesus asked the guy by the well, do you want, by the pool, do you want to be well? Do you want to be well? Yes, sir. Jesus asked the guy by the pool, do you, do you want to be well? And the man began to complain. Oh, there's nobody to throw me in for 38 years. Anytime I try to enter, somebody steps in before me. No one wants to help me. Why would they want to help you when you don't look at the people who should help you? Even Jesus talking to him, he was not looking at him. Jesus said, take your bed and go home. That was all he needed to do. Jesus did not pray. The Bible never said the Holy Spirit moved when Jesus spoke. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, carry your bed and go home. That's all he was supposed to do for 38 years. He was waiting for people to carry him and throw him into the pool. Why are you that dependent? Why are you, what kind of man are you? What kind of woman are you? Why are you that weak? Why are you a weakling? Today you see some men, they rely on their wife's salaries. Their wife's paycheck. Why are you that weak? Mm. And you as a wife too. 
Why do you think your husband just has to bring, bring all the money? You know, you need to change your mindset. Because in the society today, they teach that. Uh, you see those, those, those funny, frustrated women? <laughs> they are frustrated yet they, they look good. You know those good-looking, frustrated women on social media? They will sit, then they will be talking. Men needs to do this. A man needs to do that. Are you, are you stupid? You must be stupid talking that way. I just don't want a man who will do this, this, and men are like this. Uh, don't you see them on yes, social media? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And I'm like, ah, sometimes I wish I could just say, excuse me, let, let me ask you. Do you think every man is like your boyfriend? This seminar you are holding is nonsense to some men. They know they don't belong to the league of men you are talking about. And you shouldn't have gone on social media. Go and meet the man that you are dating and tell him that. Don't come on social, don't come on social media and be telling people, hey, man, you men need to understand how a woman feels. A woman wants to be in love. A woman wants to be loved. A woman needs to be careful. A woman needs to, You think the man doesn't know that? And you, the woman that wants to be loved, what do you have for a man to love you? What value do you have? What value are you bringing into his life? You want the man to love you. But what are you bringing into his life? Let's even ask you. All the makeup and all that, that's what you are bringing? <laughs> don't, don't think that there are no women finer than you. Ah, you don't, you don't understand. I used to travel a lot. When I used to travel a lot, I used to fly a lot. At the airport, the kind of ladies I meet, and, and I, quite frankly, I don't look shabby going to the airport. You know, some people just dress, wear track suits and all that. No, like the way I come to preach, that's how I dress to the airport. Yes, sir. Do you understand? How oh, I'm always formal when I go to the airport. You see some people, and I have some shoes that I like to wear going to the airport that I don't wear to church. Some people say, I like your shoes. I say, thank you. You say, come and sit down. And you see them, they will be gravitating. Some ladies, I'll just be laughing. Say, ah. I don't laugh. <laughs> you are too much. Oh, man. I came to pass. I didn't come to stay. Oh. Yes, uh, I like your perfume. I like the way you do. I like the way you do your hair. I say, thank you. <laughs> and these are not just beautiful women too. Yes, and so when you back home trying to cause problems, ah. you remember. You should have sense to remember that as he's going out, there are people he's likely ah. to meet. So say he's unfaithful to me. You know, there was one lady who came to tell me he cheated on me. He cheated on me, and she was talking. I was just quiet. Oh. I was just looking at her. Actually, I was on my phone when she said she was talking to me in the office. Said he cheated on me. In this and that. then I looked at her. <laughs> I was not willing to look at her, but when she said he cheated on me, this and that, I, I said, "Please, um, do, do you have your boyfriend's picture?" She said, "Can I see his picture?" I saw the guy. I said, "Yes, yeah, he's, he's a fine man. He's good looking." She said, "Yes." I said, "Typically, is this how you look?" You. She said, yes, this is me. I said, why wouldn't this guy meet somebody outside? See the way you even look. Oh. Can't you tell when you walked in, I was playing with my phone. Oh. And you are talking about him cheating on you. See how you look. <laughs> See how you even look. Because you thought you were the only woman. Eh, but I'm supposed to be. you supposed to be. See how you even look. And you are supposed to be. And yet you go on social media. Men, men, men are full of BS. Men are this. You are, your mind is twisted. Because, and, and we can't blame you, because you've been lame growing up. That kind of woman has been lame. There's no courage. There's no prestige in their life. There's no value. If there's no value, how can you have prestige? So you always see yourself as the unfortunate one. Men always want to see what they can get from me. What do you have? What do you have? 
if men are looking for what they can get from you. I'm not saying there are some men who don't do that. There are some men who are like handbags to certain women because of where the woman is in life. The woman is so successful that the man knows he can never reach. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that should not be a problem. The man is happily married. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. So yes, say, he's the woman of the house. It doesn't matter. He's happily married. Yes, sir. Men in our office can't date his wife. He's the only one who sure. successfully dated her. Sure. So he achieved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you, the woman, you just want to be lean. Oh. Like this guy. By a beautiful gate. The, by, the guy was by a beautiful gate. Where men who could help him go to pray. He yes, never sir. entered to pray for himself. That's oh, the thing. God. Apostle Peter was going to pray to a God who hears him all the time. And this guy was always there by the gate. 40 years. That means that this guy was already even in our day a Christian, a church member, yes, a sir. church goer long before Apostle Peter's conversion, before wow. he met Jesus. Yes, Apostle Peter just met Jesus three years earlier. Jesus just died yes, sir. and rose. Yes, sir. This guy has been by the gate 40 years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand? So the guy has been a Christian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but a three-year-old young, three year old young convert, Apostle Peter, will enter the church that he will stand... He will start... He said, I'm protocol. He will, you know, he's a protocol guy, man. You know protocol, they like to stand by yes, the gate. Yes, they like to park your car. That's how all those church workers, protocol, this and that. Fine, we, we understand the need for protocol and all that. Even if you are doing it, still listen to message. Don't be an idiot. Yes, Say, Pastor, can we have a speaker outside? Oh. So that even if we are standing by the door, we'll still be hearing the message. Yes, so people yes. don't do that. The same. Yeah. That's why you find some people, they like to go to church because they will stay outside by the car park, be just thing. Oh. Then they say they went to church. What did you hear? <laughs> it was a good message. Pastor preached to <laughs> You are lame. The Bible said it was time to pray. This man intercepted it. Please, help me. So, one, how do I begin to receive? Start looking at the areas where you once asked for help from. When you went to an interview, that was you asking for help. Yes, sir. You're asking for your financial help yes, because once yes, they sir. hire you, they'll be paying you. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then why don't you go back calling the companies yeah, back? Yes, I once applied here. I did an interview here and all that. How was the interview? Please. I, I really need this job. And all that. She was saying, are you desperate now? Was this guy not desperate? Mm. And this guy's miracle made other people who were inside the temple to run out and believe in the God the apostles came to talk about. They've heard of him. They saw his demonstration. They say, is this not the guy? This guy used to be lame. Mm. We used to give him arms. The guy could not recognize anyone apart from the man, the two men he looked on for the first time. That's the thing. When you can recognize who helps you, yes, sir. when you can recognize who helps you, yes, you will sir. never forget their face. Yeah. You will never dishonor them. What are you trying to prove? And let me explain, brother. I'll say, he's like, shut up. What do you want to explain? I'm the one helping you, so shut up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Except we tell you, okay, explain to us. Yes, or your boss at work says, please explain what happened. Sister, eh, I disagree. You know, don't be, listen, don't be fooled by movies. Yes, you see, <laughs> a lot of movies where you see somebody, a secretary stands at ground oh. and all that. Yes, it's movie. Oh, it's yes, not sir. real life. Yes, sir. The boss will fire you, even if you are his girlfriend. He will fire you. And don't, don't, don't go and say, I, I want to be a secretary. I watched this movie. The secretary fell in love with the boss. She now became the CEO. CEO. You are mad, oh. You are mad. If you think that's the case in real life, someone say it was a true story. And they mixed it with fiction. Yes. Hmm. 
here, the mother was not the one to blame. You see, the role of your family was to carry you throughout your childhood days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To give birth to you and to carry you. Yes, sir. But those who are to lift you, because there's a difference between being carried and being lifted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go, go to verses 5. Let, let's show you something into verses 6. There's a big difference. Go back to verses 4 so that you, you can see something. And Peter, fasting his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us, and he gave heed. All right, go ahead. He gave it unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and did what? And lifted yes, him oh. up. See that? Yes, There's sir. a difference yes, between sir. being carried and, and being lifted. lifted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, your family may carry you for a while. Friends and neighbors around you mm. can show pity and carry you for a while. Mm. But for how long will you want to be carried? Mm -hmm. Why don't you want to be lifted? But you appreciate those who carry you and challenge those who Can. lift you. That's why I would say your boss who is paying you at work is the one you want to, you want to, you, this is, in, this is unfair, this is injustice. It is not your company. Okay. If they cut down your pay, it is not your company. We will protest. Listen, listen. You see, I've worked in organizations. See, there are certain things I never did. And I never encourage you in this church to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you are working at Starbucks and then Starbucks are asking for more pay, you join them in protest. It's oh. foolish. Believe me, it is foolish. Yes, sir. It is foolish. Yes, sir. One question you should ask yourself before you go out as you are dressing up to go and protest. First of all, is it your company? The same head, one head you have, is the same one head the owners of that company have. You couldn't think an idea. It's coffee. You've been drinking coffee before Starbucks was, yes, came. Yes, coffee. Yes, have you not been drinking coffee? You don't know that your age. You are older than Starbucks. Please answer. You are pretending. Yes, How old are you? Sir. Don't tell me your age. You might be in your 20 something years old. Yes, is Starbucks that old? No, sir. It's not that old. No, be honest. Dunkin' Donuts is, has been in the 50s. Yes, sir. Starbucks, yes, sir. is it 30 years old? No, sir. Answer me now. Is it no, 30 sir. years old? No, sir. No, sir. Is Starbucks, this, this one is not answering me. Is Starbucks 30 years old? No, no, sir. Eh? No. If I ask you how long you've been drinking coffee, you will tell me that you've been drinking coffee as old as Starbucks or even older than Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Starbucks gives coffee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coffee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they are making billions. You have been drinking coffee without a dollar. Oh. It didn't cross your mind. What did Starbucks do? Just create a nice environment mm -hmm. where you can have reading table. Yes. And then the Starbucks, that's the whole concept of Starbucks. Yes, Come and drink coffee with a nice office light yes, and the tables. You can walk. You can do work. People started going there to do office work. Huh. It was even through that concept, uh, uh, remote, working remote. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you call it again? Remote, remote working. Yes, sir. Working yes, sir. virtual work yes, sir. started from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was just a concept. Yes, sir. Office meets with, with coffee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice light. Yes, sir. Quiet. The bathroom is there. And then students can, then they brought it to college. Students can come and read. Yes, sir. Yes, and all that. Yes, sir. That was the concept. Yes, sir. So Starbucks is more than the coffee. Yes, but sir. it started with the coffee thing. They know you like to drink coffee. But let's make it a nice environment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where you have your privacy to read. If you want be good, see there. But just pay us. We won't disturb you. You have been drinking coffee. The number of your number of coffee you have drunk is older than Starbucks. Hey. Now you are on the street protesting. Why didn't you start your own coffee? Why didn't it cross your mind? Pro only protest crossed your mind. You see why you can never be better than the one you protest against. You can never. Because you think that people must carry you all your life. Okay, you worked in Dunkin' Donuts. 
What did you see all the while you worked in Dunkin' Donuts that was lacking? That when you own your own company, you would like to bring in? That what was the thing people complained about in Dunkin' Donuts? Or you work in Taco Bell's? What did you notice people, com customers complain about? That when you own your own, you bring it into your own business. It never crossed your mind. Just pay me $15 per hour. Then they say, we'll cut it down to $12. He said, no, hi. All we are saying, increase our pay. All we are saying, Martin Luther fought for equal rights. Black Lives Matter. And they are marginalizing us. They, in, 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 in Bergen County, the, uh, the, uh, Taco Bell workers, they pay them $25. Here in Newark, they are, they are marginalizing this thing. Only you. You have brain to know which one. You don't have brain to conceive an idea that will make money. You expect to be carried all your life, yet you challenge those who can lift you. The same company made somebody a manager. The person you started with, they lifted that person from entry level to a manager. You, you were on the street protesting. The one they made manager is not protesting. And you think you have brains. You say you have rights. Which rights are you fighting? Okay, you fought for your rights. They increased it now to $14, which means that they will increase the pay of the manager too. Yet you never protested. See, see, see you, why are you an idiot? In the name of the Lord. <laughs> so don't join those fools. Yes, sir. They are fools. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, they are fools. Yes, sir. Hey, come on, man. You, you like to suffer. Aww. You are still begging the government, the U.S. government, to increase your minimum wage to $15. When people, they are negotiating $1,000 per hour. $1,500. I was offered $600 per hour as my entry level on Wall Street. $600 per hour. And I turned down the job. $600 per hour. You are still negotiating for $15. See the difference? You are protesting. <laughs> Congress is trying to decide. Mm. Congress, the people you voted for say you don't deserve $15 per hour. Hey, God forbid. $15 per hour. That's what you went to school for. It's better you just steal. A bus clean chair in church. Fifteen. You went to school, studied, wrote exam for just twenty-five dollars for per hour or thirty-five dollars. That's all your mind can capture. Mm -hmm. And they say we'll remove, we'll remove fifty cents. You, you, hey! <laughs> <laughs> you protest. Fifty cents. It's a, it's a lot of money. <laughs> 50 cents in 40 hours? How much is that? Ha! Ah. <laughs> That's like I, $20, Jesus. I never calculated it that way. <laughs> 50 $20. cents. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they talked about, and this thing, these people on Wall Street, they lie a lot to you. Do you understand? Yes, Those who really know, there's no story. Truthfully, there's no inflation. See this, this thing they call inflation. There's no inflation. They're talking about inflation. Inflation, 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 inflation. They say we're heading to a, re a recession. And the Republicans were promoting that fear. We are, we are in an inflation now. No doubt, prices are high. But if it's really inflation, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means that prices are high. Yes, sir. And actually, what inflation simply means more demand, more demand, less supply. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And so because of the less supply, it will only be to the privileged ones. Yes, sir. So they will increase the price. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And those with more demand will still want to buy it. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question. Those who, if you say there's inflation, who does inflation really impact? Do you think it impacts the poor or the rich? The poor. What makes you think so? See, you don't even understand inflation. The true concept of inflation is that it impacts the rich more. That's why they are the ones screaming. It impacts them. Because the value of, of their investments will drop. Oh, yes, it's true. It's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. So they are the ones coming up to me. Inflation is there. We are heading to a recession. They are the ones it will impact. You, $15, it does not even affect you. Four for four is still four for four. Yes, sir, if yeah. they put 50 cents, say, well, let's see it. Yes, four sir, for yes, four. Sir, it's true, it's true, it's true. It does not affect you. You now, you join the rich and say, it's inflation, it's inflation, it's inflation. That's why you went to vote for that fool who does not care about you, that former president. You vote for him. The guy is a mega millionaire. 
And he said, inflation is at a rising. It, the thing does not affect him. It does not affect him. It does not affect him. He said, there's inflation. I was just like, man, look at these people. They are foolish. And guess what? Um, yesterday, a few days ago, was Thanksgiving, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Black Friday was yesterday, yes, sir, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Look at the stores. Packed full with people yeah. with money. They say, we are buying. Yeah. And people were surprised. Do you know, between, it has been projected, between now, now yes, sir. Black Friday, till December 31st, yes, sir, yes, sir. there's a projection of $668 billion to be spent. Wow. Who spent that money? The people, yes, sir, yes, sir. not even the billionaires. Yes, the billionaires will not spend their money. Yes, they will produce the product for you to buy and increase their price yes, so as to hedge their value yes, because the inflation is impacting them. Yes. So they, increases, they increase price because they know you like to buy. So they give you more money to buy, then they will increase the price. Huh. Then that means that 50 cents can mean a lot to their assets. Wow. You, 50 cents means nothing. That's why you can throw a quarter away. A rich man does not throw a quarter away. That's why a rich man can send you to go and buy him Burger King and still collect change. He says, look at him. And he says he's rich. Why is he collecting change? He can't even let go of a dollar. Why should he? Why should he? Somebody, I told somebody to let me buy something once. The person said, um, uh, okay, brother, here's the receipt. I said, where's the change? He said, ah, brother, I don't think you need it. I said, who told you? Who told you I don't need it? At least I can still give somebody a tip. And make their day. Give me my money. Go and see that idiot. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> see? Bro, you can't even just let go of one dollar. I said, when I give you a hundred dollars the last time, he said, it's true, it's true, it's true. I said, now nah, you want to steal my one dollar. He said, no, don't call me a thief. I said, you're a thief until I ask you never gave me. Yes, sir. He, you are crazy. <laughs> you are crazy, idiot. <laughs> Do you understand? The rich, 50 cents means a lot. Yes, sir. In quantums. Inflation does not impact the poor. They lie to you. You believe it because you are an idiot. Not you now. Somebody say, why are you insulting me? I'm not insulting you. I'm insulting the idiot. Who, and, and if you notice, if you watch TV, and we encourage many of you, watch the news. Go and see the people they interview. Mm. On the TV set, the panelists will be people who are above poverty level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With expensive suits, yes, talking sir. about inflation. Yes, sir. Then they will not go on the streets. And you will be talking about inflation. What do you even have? Oh. Inflate. Do you know what it means to inflate? What, sir? To increase. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So inflation should be to your own benefit. Yes, sir. What does it mean to inflate? Yes, sir. Is it not to increase? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't you want to increase in life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means inflation oh. is always to the benefit of the poor. Yes, sir. But the poor don't like it because the risk lies to them. That inflation is very, very bad, though. It will make... Wait, let me ask you. When did the economy of U.S. ever impacted you? Let me ask you. The question then becomes, how much do you even make? If you can tell me how much you make, then I can know that you are not impacted by inflation in any way. It is even to your benefit. Because if things are expensive, the government will advocate that they should increase your pay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the rich are complaining they don't want to increase your pay. That's why they are shouting inflation, inflation, inflation. Right. Meanwhile, inflation is always to the benefit of the poor. Mm -hmm. But you, the poor, you shout, we don't want inflation. Meanwhile, it is to your benefit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you. Let's close. <laughs> Hi. Hi, you people, you are Americans. What did you people go to school for? I, I schooled in the village, oh, and I know this thing. And if they hear you say, yes, we like inflation, people say, ah, no, no, we shouldn't interview this one. This one is crazy. You don't know what is happening. The rich, someone say, a, a, a gallon of milk has moved from, from 55 cents to $1. How did it impact you? Tell me how, how 55 cents to $1 changed your life. I can tell you that it never did. But they lied to you. You say, ask me how. Just ask me how. Ah. You have a lot of quarter in a jar that you've been saving. <laughs> Is that not enough to buy you a gallon of milk? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what, what has 50 cents got to do yes, with that? Yes, but to the rich, they are trying to make, put fear in you. Because the thing is impacting them. Their assets is dropping. Because inflation, reduce, it makes the government put more, more um, what you call, interest. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. The interest does not affect the ordinary citizen. It affects the rich yes, sir. on the assets. But those ones are screaming. And because you watch them on TV, you say, hey, that's true. We are suffering, you know? and then the owner of the business comes and says, we are going to reduce pay. 
They are doing it to hedge their own funds. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the government is saying, you can't do that. Give them more money. So the government has never been your, your enemy. The government actually, a real government, really cares about it. Like the government we have now, it does care about the people. Yes, the previous government wants to make the rich richer and keep the people poor. And yet you still go and vote for that fool. In the name of the Lord, they say Christians. Christians, how many Christians are millionaires in church? You see why the people hate the pastors? So you still want to collect money from the poor. Because the pastor is a fool. Who will go, who will go and vote for that idiot? Now he says he's contesting the game. And many people will still go and vote for him. Recently they say Kanye West went to visit him. Kanye West has made money. And you, you are coming on social media. What they did to Kanye West, how much do you have? Kanye West is free from Adidas. Uh, Kanye West, you are you free? <laughs> How much do you have? You are campaigning for Kanye West. Uh, what's that basketballer? The one for Brooklyn Nets. Uh, that, that was, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you are coming on social media. You want to talk uh, for him. For him. Do you know how much he makes? Do you know how much he makes? You are coming to say, eh, we, they, they, they do it to black people. You are, you are a fool. <laughs> you are a fool. Think for once. Let's close. What the whole essence here is, how long will you want to be carried? Don't you want to be lifted? Yes, sir. Now, with what I just told you about inflation, now you get to see, ah. Okay, why did they stop student loan forgiveness? Because they know it will benefit the poor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The thing will impact them because the government will collect money from the rich yes, sir. Yes, sir. and make up for the student loan. Yes, so they stopped it. Yes, sir. Let's close, man. I like that. <laughs> if you didn't get it, I can't help you. Inflation has always been to the benefit of the poor. It just means that the rich has been caught stealing. Yes, sir, that's, that's just what inflation simply means. And the government now is increasing. Say, we'll cut you. You must pay us. Mm. Okay, why can't President Trump release his taxes? All these years, until the Supreme Court finally say, release it now. He shot in Because they will see he has been stealing money, stealing money. And yet he's still asking you to vote for him. Stand to wake up. That's why they talk about wokeness. Do you know what wokeness means? Wokeness means to be alert to justice. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, uh, and all these people, they say anti woke. These people, they are so woke, woke. And you are listening to them. <laughs> say, ah, woke leftist. Woke leftist. Go and check the dictionary meaning of being woke. It means to awaken, to be alert yes, sir. to injustice and advocate for justice. Yes, sir. Yes, What's wrong with that? Exactly. Oh. They say you are too woke. And you say, no, I'm not woke. Go and check the dictionary meaning for woke. Then you know. Then when they don't call you anti-woke, you say, no, you are my enemy. So you don't want me to... Because they never imagined you would ever be awakened to the injustice around you and demand for justice. That's what wokeness means. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To be woke means to be awakened to injustice, to recognize it and say, okay, now, nah, this is what we need to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yet, the, the conservatives are saying anti-woke. They are anti-woke. This wokeness, this wokeness. Okay, so you recognize them. That you people are cheating people. The people now have awoken to you cheating them. And now you are angry. We need to remove this current president because he's, 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 he's a woke president. That means you recognize that he has awoken to the injustice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you go and still vote for anti-woke. The one who doesn't want you to recognize how they have been cheating you. Go and check it. Inflation, when they calculate it, they talk about billions. The chart is falling down. Question, does chart affect you as a person? Who does chart impact? The rich. And you see, that's true. The arrow went down, it's in red. See? It does not affect you. See, how can arrow going down affect $15 per hour? <laughs> So the next time somebody comes, they are, they are campaigning, and they knock at your door and they tell you, uh, you know, inflation is on the rise. And all that. He says, please, how does it affect me? <laughs> do you know how much, how much I earn? How much do you make, sir? 
Yeah, that I want to represent you in pro Congress. Don't represent me. I don't need you. You are a liar. You want to go and make more money, mm. idiot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much they pay those Congress people? Some will say the money is not much. Go and sit down. <laughs> An average member of Congress yes, sits on a board. On the average, even when they leave Congress, companies will be giving them offers. You invite the CEO of a company for hearing and you are challenging him. And you think he will not make an offer to you. You say, cool down now. We'll give you three million. Cool down. You will resign. They say, come and sit on our board. Say <laughs> three million that I've never imagined in my life. Mm. You understand? Yes, sir. Then they will come and say, inflation is on the rise. Inflation. He does not, believe me, he does not affect you. Yes, sir. Yes. Someone say, you, why are you too woke? Say, I'm woke. I'm it's true. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm, I'm woke. I'm I, I've awakened to the injustice. I'm I'm to the injustice. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, your eyes are open. I like that. It's true. Yes, sir. It does not affect me. Inflation does not. And it doesn't really. Don't buy. Listen, I did. I went to a business school. Yes, sir. I know this thing. And I'm telling you the truth. Yes, sir. That's how it works. It does not affect you in any way. Go and see. The people who went to do shopping at Black Friday, the place were packed full. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, they were shouting inflation. So they started asking now, is there truly an inflation? <laughs> it's a lie. Yes, the rich are the ones screaming because the thing is affecting them. The government is increasing uh, uh, interest yes, on the rich, not on the poor. So but we can't buy a house. Why do you want to buy a house? Go and see. Listen, come on. Don't be a fool. Some of you, you are just eager to go and buy a house. I don't know why the Lord is making me talk to you today like yes, this. Sir. Why, why do you want to really go and buy a house? Why do you really want to go and buy a house? What's wrong with where you live? Why are you eager to go and buy a house? <laughs> the Lord is just making me talk to you. Just manage what you have first. And if you must buy a house, be at a place where you can buy a house where you can give them more money and your interest will drop. Yes, sir. If it is 7%, give them more money as your down payment so that the interest can drop to at least 2%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't have that kind of money, then you are not ready to buy a house. Sure. Stay. They are telling you, we can give you the money and then you buy the house at 23%. And then, you, why won't you complain? Your whole money is gone already. Then what, what is chasing you to go and buy a house? Except you want to buy it to rent it, knowing that your tenants can pay. And then that means that you will not go for stupid tenants. You will not let your cousin come and stay in your house. Yes, if person is your cousin, he will not pay you. Some of you, you are fools. Though. You buy a house and invite family members. Say, let my cousin, let my, my cousin's best friend come and live in the house. Your cousin's best friend will never pay you. Say, I want rich people to be my tenant. Yeah. Where do you work? Say, uh, I, I, I work at FedEx. Uh, what do you do at FedEx? I, I'm a forklift. I, I can't rent you my house. Because the day FedEx will not pay you. <laughs> you will not pay me rent. Yeah. Well, what do you do? I want bank managers. Is it true? Yes, sir, yes, you sir. select who you want your tenants to be. Yes, Someone say, you're marginalizing us. I don't care. You're not the one who bought this house for me. Do you, do you know how much I pay? You know why I'm selective about my tenants. Where I live, they told me to go and bring all my financial reports. Where I currently live. I live in a good place. Yeah. <laughs> they checked everything. Told me CPA must certify it. They checked my year, the year in and out for a whole year. They told me to bring five years reports. Wow. Yes, sir. Where I currently live. If you come there, some of you have been there. Yes, sir, yes, just, sir. just think you can just come and live there. They will tell you, bring your financial. They want to know that you still have money to pay. <laughs> they are selective about who they want in their complex. Yes, sir. Then you, you just go and bring cousin, your grandmother's <laughs> nephew. <laughs> yeah? She works at a thrift store. Thrift store, oh. second-hand clothes. <laughs> and you think she'll be able to pay you. Let's go. Yes, sir. Talk to the Lord. A new it's a new I'm beginning. I'm wiser now. I'm wiser now. I'm wiser now. I'm wiser now. I'm wiser. You sound offended. I'm wiser. Yeah. I will not be cheated. I will not be lied to. No politician will lie to me. Yeah. 
Talk to him. Bless his name. Come from me for your faithfulness, trust me. 